So the Tories have quietly dropped their plans to cap MP second job salaries. And so we're all about to get a £2,200 pay rise at the same time that cost of living crisis is inflicted on the rest of us. Those national insurance hikes on the way, our energy bills skyrocketing, and all we have to show for it is an energy loan being forced upon us. And the energy giants need not fear a windfall tax on profits because they're not going to call for one. MPs instead are being allowed to keep their second jobs, keep their places on the gravy train. So the likes of knockoff Brian Blessed Jeffrey Cox will soon be shooting off to represent his Devon constituents from the Cayman Islands again, whilst David Lammy gets a second income telling us all how awful it all is from his poxy radio show. This was a massive scandal not all that long ago. MPs were making hundreds of thousands of pounds on the side. An MP, Owen Patterson, literally quit over it after it was found his outside interests were influencing his decision-making too much instead of the needs of his constituents. These people are on over £80,000 a year. They are far in excess of the average wage. They got on a above inflation pay, pay rise again. It is a full-time job, though, and it is one they are elected to, and they shouldn't be using the privilege of that position to make contacts, accept perks from lobbyists, and end up compromising their impartiality to do what is best for country and people. The temptation to enrich themselves personally proves too great, as Owen Patterson proved all too well. But to drop this as ordinary people around the country are already struggling and will soon be placed in even more difficult financial positions is a massive slap in the face and sends a message that this government, who will not intervene to help us, despite other countries clearly showing that they could, who couldn't care less as long as they're looking after themselves. Second jobs should be banned. They aren't needed. They compromise decision making, which affects millions of people. And once again, shows Boris Johnson to be the humongous liar he is when he promised change and has quietly U-turned.